CCNI version 7, Introduction to Networks, Practice Skills Assessment Packet Tracer. You will configure devices in an IPv4, IPv6 network. Configure the router zero router. You will address the host on two LANs with IPv4 and IPv6 addresses and activate an address, the management interface of the LAN2 switch. Okay, this is router zero and this is LAN2 switch. You are not required to configure the LAN1 switch, this switch. The name may vary, but it's this switch. Addressing table, router zero is this, router zero. The name may vary, but there is only one router. Gigabit zero zero and gigabit zero one interfaces, gigabit zero zero and gigabit zero one. LAN to switch, switch virtual interface, LAN to switch. The name may vary, but is this switch connected on gigabit zero one on router zero, PC one, two, and three, PC one, two, and three, names may vary, uh, and this is the TFTP server, only, only one server, TFTP server. Instructions determine the IP addressing scheme Design an IPv4 addressing scheme and complete the addressing table based on the following requirements. Okay, this is the incomplete addressing table. You need to design IPv4 addressing a scheme. Okay, IPv6 addressing already already completed on the addressing table but you need to design IPv4 addressing. Subnet the 182.168.1.0.24 network to provide 30 host addresses per subnet while wasting the fewest addresses. Okay, 30 host per subnet. Okay, and you need to design six subnets. Start from the base network address 192.168.1.0. Okay, and do this here. 192.168.1.0.24 is the base network address. And place the first two octets on decimal and last two octets on binary. Okay, one in binary is this. One and zero in binary, eight zeros. Here on host, you need 30 host per subnet. So 30 is the, is the number, and this is the new subnet mask. Copy this and fill the remaining spaces with ones. Okay, this is the first subnet. Okay, subnet one. And this is the network address. 182.168.1.0. One, okay, 1.0. One, Prefix 27. 8 bits uh, plus 8 bits, 16 bits plus 8 bits, 24 bits, 25, 26, 27. Okay, and this is the broadcast address. Okay, and this number is uh, 31. Okay, if this is 32, this is 31. It's the broadcast, 182, 168, 131. Same, subnet mask, 27. Host 192.168.11, one, one, one next to the network, same 
prefix and last IP host one before the broadcast, 30, 27. Now, the next number, 192.168.1.0.0. In binary, the next number of five ones is one followed by five zeros. Okay. Theory and hosts. Theory is the number for hosts. So this is the subnet mask. Copy this and fill the remaining spaces with ones. This is subnet two. Okay. One eight two one sixty eight. One. Okay. This is one, and this number is. 32, 32. Okay, and to, uh, prefix 27, the same prefix. Okay, uh, to be sure, if the broadcast of the previous subnet is 31, the network of the next subnet is 32. Okay, and continue, this is the broadcast, and this number is 63. If this is 64, this is 63. And I took one 68, 68, 1, 63, 27. Okay, first IP, 182, 168, 1, 33, 27. Okay, one next to the network. And last, 182, 168, 1, 62, 27, one before the broadcast. Next number, 192, 168, 1 in binary, and 0. The next number in binary, the next number of 6 ones is 1 followed by 6 zeros. And subnet mask 27, same subnet mask. And fill the remaining spaces with ones. This is the network for subnet 3. Okay, and this number is 182.168.1, one, and this number is 64. 64. 162.168.164, prefix 27. And broadcast, this number is 64 plus 31. 64 plus 31 is 95. 192, 168, 1, 95. Prefix 27. 192, 168, 1, 65, 27. 192, 168, 1, and 1 before the broadcast, 94. Prefix 27. Very good. Uh, but you need uh, six subnets, okay? But uh, you will need a subnet four. Five and six, six subnets. And discover the pattern. What is the pattern? Zero, thirty two, sixty four. Zero plus thirty two is thirty two. Thirty two plus thirty two is sixty four. Sixty four plus thirty two is ninety six. Same prefix. Ninety six plus uh, thirty two is is one twenty eight. Prefix twenty seven. When I do 168, one, 128 plus 32, 160, prefix 27. Very good. Okay, now I allow the broadcast. Okay, if the network of subnet 5 is 128, the broadcast of subnet 4 is 127. When I do 168, one, 127, prefix 27. Okay.
If the network address of subnet 6 is 160, the broadcast of subnet 5 is 159, 182.168.1. 159 prefix 27. Okay, and how to allow the broadcast of subnet 6? Okay, for example, if there is a subnet 7, one, uh, 100, 160. Plus 32 is 192 and 68, 1, 1, uh, 92, prefix 27. If the network address of subnet 7 is 192, the broadcast of subnet 6 is 191, 192, 168, 1, 191, prefix 27. Okay, first host for subnet 4, 192, 168, 197. 192, 1, 1, 129, 192.168.1.159, 192.168.1.159, 192.168.1.159. Now you have the table. This table now is complete and is this table. Assign the fourth subnet to the lang one. Fourth subnet to lang one. Okay, here. Lang one. The name of the lang may vary, but in my case is lang one. Okay, lang one subnet. And the topology is this, okay, lang one. The name may vary, but is this lang connected to gigabit uh, zero zero on router zero on the router? Okay, uh, starting with the fifth subnet, subnet the network again, so that the new subnets will provide 14 host addresses per subnet while wasting the fewest addresses. Okay, this is the fifth uh, subnet, subnet 5. This is 192.168.1.128 and subnet again. Okay, the subnet 5 is this, 192, 168, 1, 128, 27. Okay, subnet 5. And subnet again. First two octets in decimal, 192, 168. Last two octets in binary, 1 in binary is this. 128 in binary is one and zeros. Okay, this is 128. Okay, but uh, 14 hosts per subnet. Okay, 14 host addresses per subnet. Okay, uh, here on hosts, 14 is the number. So this is the new subnet mask. Copy this and, and fill the remaining spaces with ones. Okay, this is the first subnet, subnet one. This is network address. One, 128, 182.168.1.128, prefix, new prefix, 8, 16, 24, 25, 27, 26, 28. And the broadcast, this number is 128 plus 15. Okay, if this is 16, this is 15. 128 plus uh, 15. 
143. Same prefix 28. Okay, first IP is one next to the network, 1129, prefix 28. Um, last IP host, one before the broadcast, 142. Same prefix. The next number, 192, 168. One uh, one zero zero. The next number of four ones is one followed by four zeros. Uh, this will be a subnet number two. Fourteen hosts. Okay, on hosts fourteen is the number. Sub subnet mass. Copy this. Fill remaining spaces with ones. This number is 128 plus 16, and is 144. 192, 168, 144, prefix 28. And the broadcast, this is 128 plus 31. If this is 32, this is 31. 128 plus 31. 192, 168. 159, prefix 28. First IP host, 192, 145. Same prefix, 192, 168. One, uh, last IP host, one before the broadcast, 158, prefix 28. Assign the second of these new 14 host subnets to the LAN2. This is the second and assigned to LAN2. Okay, the name of the network may vary. In my case, is LAN2. Okay, LAN2 subnet. And is uh, on the topology, is this, this LAN. Okay, this subnet, LAN2. And is the network connected to Gigabit 01 on the router. Okay, now you have the subnet for LAN1 and subnet for LAN2. Okay, and this is the addressing table. Okay, um, subnet 182.168.1024 network. Ready. Assign the fourth subnet to LAN1. Okay, fourth subnet to LAN1. Assign the last network host address in this subnet to gigabit 00, 0 interface on router 0. Okay. The last last IP host 126 prefix 27. Okay, 126 for gigabit 00, 0 interface on router 0. Here, gigabit 00, 0 interface on router 0. Okay, prefix 27. Starting with the fifth subnet, subnet the network again. Okay, ready. Assign the second of these new 14 host subnets to LAN2. Okay, the second of the new subnets assigned to LAN2, ready. Assign the last network host address in the LAN2 subnet to gigabit 01 interface of router 0. Okay, the name of the LAN may vary, but is this LAN2. 158, 28 prefix.
Okay, to gigabit zero one. Assign the second of the last address, the second highest in this subnet to VLAN 1 interface of the LAN 2 switch. Okay, for LAN 2 switch, the name of device may vary, but is this switch, the switch connected to gigabit 01, okay, uh, gigabit 01 on the router, okay, on this network, LAN 2 switch. Okay, if last is 158, for the switch will be 157, the second to the last, 157. One fifty-seven. Under the default gateway, for LAN to switch, for LAN to switch, the default gateway is the IP address of gigabit 01 on router 0. Gigabit 01 on router 0. This. Okay, but remove the prefix. Configure the addresses of the host using any of the remaining addresses in the respective subnet. Okay, PC1 and PC2 place it on LAN1. Okay, uh, this is LAN1. Uh, 126 already used it for the interface on the router. Okay, 126 already used it, but you can use 97 and 98 for PC1 and PC2. 97 for PC1 and 98 for PC2. And IDA. Okay, and the default gateway for PC1 and PC2 is gigabit uh, zero, 00 on router. Gigabit zero, 00 on router. This is the default gateway. Okay, but remove the prefix. Okay, PC3 and TFTP server, PC3 and TFTP server are placed on LAN2, here on LAN2. The last IP is already used for router interface 158, 158 already used. But you can use 145 and 146. Okay, 145 and 146. One forty five. One forty six. Okay, but the prefix on LAN two is twenty eight. Okay, be careful. Twenty eight. Okay, here it should be twenty eight. PC three prefix twenty eight. TFTP server prefix twenty eight. One forty five twenty eight. One forty six twenty eight. And the default gateway. Uh, 
and the default gateway for PC3 and TFTP server is gigabit 01. Gigabit 01 on router. Gigabit 01 on router is this 158. Okay, uh, remove the prefix. Okay, now my IPv4 design is completed. Configure the router zero router. Configure the host name uh, middle. Okay, be careful, it's middle. Okay, from PC, connect using the console. From RS2 theory port or PC1, for example, to console port on the router. Go to PC1. And desktop terminal okay enter enable configure terminal host name middle okay case sensitive capital M protect device from unauthorized access with encrypted privilege exit password okay enable secret for example, class. Okay, enable secret class, enter. Secure all access lines into the router using methods covered. Line console zero, line console zero, password, Cisco, login to enable the password. And line BTY 0215, Password Cisco, login to enable the, the, the password. Require newly entered passwords must have a minimum length of 10 characters. Okay, exit and on global configuration mode. Security passwords, mean length 10 characters. Prevent all passwords from being viewed in clear text in the device configuration files. Service password dash encryption. Configure the router to only accept in-band management connections over the protocol that is more secure than Telnet. That means SSH. Use the value of 1024 for encryption key strength. Okay, and you need, uh, for this, you need to configure SSH. Um, to configure SSH, configure uh, first the domain. Okay, the host name already host is a requirement, but also the domain, IP domain dash name, for example, uh, cisco.com. And the crypto key 1024. Crypto key generate RSA modulus 1024. Enter. Very good. And configure local user authentication. Create a user with the name net admin and secret password. Use this Cisco underscore CCNA5 K sensitive. Okay, username, net admin, mm, secret password, Cisco underscore CCNA five. Okay, underscore and CCNA five. Give the user the highest administrative privileges. Privilege 15, the highest. 
Okay. Username not admin privilege 15 secret password Cisco underscore CCNA5. Okay, sensitive. Okay, enter. Very good. And don't forget to configure the line BTY. Line BTY 0 to 15. Use SSH, transport input SSH, and use the local user, this uh, this this user, not admin, local, uh, logging local, and exit. Very good. Configure two gigabit Ethernet interfaces using IP before addressing values you calculate and IPv6 values provided in the addressing table. Reconfigure the link local address of the value shown in the table. Okay, use this uh, link local addresses FE80 column column one on gigabit 00, zero and also for gigabit 0, 01. Document the interfaces in the configuration file. Uh, set the default gateway on PCs and also on the server. Okay, use the link local address of router interfaces for the default gateway. Okay. FE eight zero column column one. Okay, and uh, place this here and configure uh, all these addressing table on the router. Start for our router 0 gigabit 00, zero IP before and IPv6 addresses. Okay, gigabit 00, zero on LAN 1, for example. Interface gigabit 00, zero at a description. LAN 1, for example, description. Okay, IP address 192.168.1.126. Prefix 227.224. IPv6 address 2001 DB8 ACAD A column column 1 prefix 64 IPv6 address FE80 column column 1 link local dash local no shutdown enter now in gigabit 01 on, on router Gigabit 01, description, LAN 2, okay. Gigabit 01, LAN 2. IP 158, 158, prefix 28, 28 is 240, okay. IPv6 address B, column, column 1, prefix 64. Same link local address, okay. F F E A T or column column one link local. Not shut down. Okay, but exit and on global configuration mode, don't forget IPv6 routing. If you will use IPv6 enable IPv6 uni cast dash routing. Don't forget that. And now LAN to switch switch virtual interface. Okay, from this another PC RS230 port to console. Terminal. 
okay and there enable configure terminal VLAN 1 interface of the LAN 2 switch okay VLAN 1 interface interface VLAN 1 okay and use the table IP address 182.168.1.157 prefix 28.240 enter uh, at a description this is uh, switch virtual interface and my shutdown exit IP default gateway don't forget the gateway 182.168.1.158 enter okay configure LAN to switch configure LAN to switch for remote management of portal NAT line BTY 0 to 15 set a password for example Cisco and activate with login that's okay configure and verify host addressing use the IPv4 addressing and IPv6 addressing use the router interface link local address as the IPv6 default gateways of the hosts okay link local address for default gateway on IPv6 configurations complete the configuration of the TFTP server using the IPv4 addressing values okay use the table um, PC1 192.168.1.97 97 prefix is 224 default gateway 126 okay node DNS server IPv6 address 2001 DB8 ACAD A column column FF Prefix uh, 64 IPv6 gateway link local address on interface router FE80 column column 1. Okay, PC2. IP address 98 27 to 24. The full gateway 126 IPv6 2001 and DB8 ACAD ACAD column A column column 15 prefix uh, 64 the full gateway A FE80 column column 1 PC3 mm. 145 28 is 240 default gateway 158 IPv6 2001 DB8 ACAD column B column column F F Prefix 64, gateway FE80, column column 1, TFTP server 146, 28 is 240, default gateway 158, IPv6 2001, DB8, ACAD, ACAD. Column B, column, column 15, prefix 64, IPv6 gateway FE80, column, column 1. Okay, now and verify. Go to PC1, and command prompt, ping PC2, ping 192, 168, 198. Success. Ping PC3 is 145, 145. Success. P 
ping TFTP server 146. Success. Now use IPv6. Ping uh, PC2 2001 DB8 ACAD A column column 15. Success. PC3 is BFF. B column column FF. Success. TFTP server B column column 15. B column column 15. Success. Now verify the Telnet access to LAN to switch configure it. Telnet IP IP before others of LAN to switch 182.168.1.157. Password Cisco. Very good. Exit. And finally, uh, go to router on terminal. Okay. Enter. Uh, Password Cisco enable class make a backup for the copy the running config to a copy running config to TFTP server. Uh, this is only a test, it's not necessary, it's only a test. Enter. Address of the remote host 192.168.1.146. Enter. Destination file name. Use the default. Enter. Very good. Okay, but I think to to get 100% score, use the following configure terminal. Um, banner message of the day. I think this is necessary to get 100% score message of the day. Any, any any message in my case when authorize it access is prohibited okay any message and uh, okay and um, on the router maybe it's necessary to configure the exit timeout on the Line console and line on line BTY. Okay. Okay. Access line console zero. Okay. Sorry. Configure terminal line console zero. Exec timeout five minutes zero seconds. And online BTY 0 to 15, 5 minutes, 0 seconds. Okay. Um, and also, you can do that on BTY lines on LAN to switch. Okay. On terminal. BTY lines from 0 to 15. Enter enable configure terminal line BTY 0 to 15. Exec timeout 5 minutes 0 seconds. Okay, exit. Very good. Uh, 